Dragon Folk, it's time to talk about what the gathering actually means. Welcome on in Dragon Folk. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. I know I am. My name is Ashen Wings, and today, well, we're standing. I don't normally stand in my little area, but I figure it gives me a little bit more room to move around and, you know, get up from my chair. It's uh, it's important to get that blood flow going. So we're doing this one standing today. And of course, I'm also going to stand up for what is the gathering. So I know a lot of people are big in, you know, Magic the Gathering, we talk about the gathering often. There's often times in which that happens. But when we talk about things like the gathering, what do we really mean? What do we mean by the gathering? Well, a lot of people would consider it being going to an LGS, playing with your friends in person, you know, going over to your friend's house and, you know, having a couple of drinks and playing around there. But what I personally view the gathering is, is really any of that right? There are so many different ways to gather these days. And I think there there's a weird kind of speculation between a, a LGS is the only place where you can gather, right? Like, that's it. It's the only place you can gather is the LGS. That's the only place you can do it. I think that a lot of people need a wake-up call that we live in the 21st century, right? We live in an age of technology. We live in an age where I can have a conversation with somebody in China casually at any time of the day if I really wished. This is a this is a concept that a lot of people have not, especially like, you know, magic veterans seem to not grasp it. Some of them do. Uh, This is not like a boomer statement. I mean, like some people just don't know the concept, but. What I'm trying to say here is that there are so many ways to gather in Magic the Gathering. You know, you've got Discord, you've got Spell Table, you've got LGSs, you've got going over to your friend's house and playing, right? You can go to coffee shops, you can go to libraries, you can go to all these places that are not just your LGS in order for you to play. And while I personally love an LGS, you know, obviously I've done nothing but talk well about the LGSs that I've been to, and I really am thankful for LGSs that exist in this world, there are a lot of people who believe that LGSs are the only places that you can gather and the only places you can play. And I promise you, it's not the case. So this is where, you know, again, we're we're talking more so about successes and failures of LGSs. And I'm also not certain on numbers. If any of you who own an LGS out there know more than I do, please, 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 please let me know what your, you know, granted, you don't have to go over all your business ideals or whatever, but I'd love to hear from you. Seriously, you can send me a DM on Twitter. I'd love to hear from you all. What I'm trying to get in here is that so many people are looking at the Amazon sales that are happening for Magic the Gathering all the time now. You know, we, we we had one that went on for like two weeks. We had several on Black Friday that were really big and crazy. And while, yes, these are at a much lower rate than distribution would give to an LGS, they are still more accessible to the wider variety of players. There are some LGSs who put in allocation for product and don't even get all of that product. Do you know where you can guarantee your product? Amazon. And of course, I shouldn't say guarantee because there are some times where there's product that does not show up the way it is intended. Uh, Obviously, you cannot just get rid of evil in the world, regardless of whether or not it's from an LGS or from some dude on Facebook or even the big corporation that is Amazon. But I think what needs to be said is that, I I don't know, it's going to sound like I'm just advocating for this stuff. And I know it's a hot take, right? I just wanted to be wholeheartedly aware that, of course, I will support an LGS, you know, during a time where it is, you know, it is most gracious. MinMax has helped me a lot in my flesh and blood journey, and MinMax is where I spend most of my money in regards to flesh and blood. But of course, 
I cannot expect an LGS to have everything that I will ever need ever. And that is why I turn to other avenues, much like other people would. And not to mention the fact that LGSs will also turn to those avenues to get good deals for product for their players. So uh, there's, there's a lot of controversy in regards to this. But the gathering, again, is not just an LGS. Did the LGS start as a place to do the gathering? Of course. Of course it did. But we are in a different time now. You know, in the late 90s, this was, you know, an LGS was like the pinnacle, right? That's where it was. Now we have so many places to play. Not to mention we also have Arena and Magic the Gathering Online, two digital formats that do not require any connection to an LGS whatsoever in order for you to play Magic the Gathering. And you can go talk to your friends on Discord and you can go, hey, I want to go jam a game out on Magic Arena. Let's go ahead and do that. Now where are you at, right? You know, the, the LGS gets nothing from that. If you're at home playing Arena and your friend is at home playing Arena, an LGS is not getting anything for that. And we're already aware that Arena along with, you know, any other kind of odd, you know, separate IP that they're trying to work on is where Magic, I personally feel, is looking to put a lot of its effort into because digital is just such an easy way to get into Magic. It's so easy and so great. And I mean, they're already looking to tweak their their UI and tweak the tutorial system to make sure that People are understanding of what certain keywords are. You know, Magic the Gathering Arena will give you a brand new deck every time standard rotates. As a matter of fact, they'll give you 10 new decks every time the standard rotates. So your cards can go into the next standard in a way that allows you to not have to worry. They, they give you cards every time a standard rotates so that you now have access to these things. And yeah, most of the time you already have those cards. But to a lot of casual players, you might not. And this is why Arena is something that I, I really do advocate for. I advocate for Arena. I advocate for digital play. I also advocate for paper play. I think that you should never stop playing in paper because there is something special about holding the cards in your hand and being able to, to play them. I'll, you know, I'll never forget the, the day that as a player of many TCGs, I'll never forget the day where me and my stepbrother were playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And he played this, this big monster. I can't remember what the name of it was. He played this synchro monster, and when he played it, he, he did the whole fun, like, saying the, the name of the, the creature out loud. You know, it was the, the I summon Exodia kind of deal. And when he did it, the power went out in our house. Now, obviously, it was in the middle of a storm, so, like, not a ghost thing. But this is some I, that memory will never I will never forget that. Right. And that is something that paper will be able to do a one on one personal interaction or at least one on many personal interaction with people. I do not think that the I, I hope that the takeaway from this video is not stop hanging out with people in person. OK, I just want everybody to be aware of how I think about this personal situation here and how I think that. If you are telling me that the only way that I can play Magic, you know, in the way that is the best way to play is in paper, then I say, okay, well, that doesn't mean that the LGS is the only place I can play that. You've got people playing on Spell Table all around the world all the time. Like, like right as we're talking right now, I'm certain there are at least... 100 games going on on spell table as we speak because that's how the world there's so many people invested in these tcgs and you're able to play online and through spell table and that is the same thing you know the the people who say that you can only make friends at lgs's are the same people who think that your online friends are not your friends that online friends are not real okay and as somebody who has had a lot of online friends myself I can tell you that that is a lie. If anybody who tells you that your online friends are not your friends, obviously you have to make that decision because some people may not really be your friend, but this same moral compass happens with people in real life as well. So just, again, to reiterate, 
I think the gathering is what much like we all do with magic. You know, the motto I've been saying about magic is the same motto I say about the gathering. It's what you make it, right? So many people are upset about the prices, about the power level, about the overprinting of product, about the complete disregard for the fan base from Wizards of the Coast. It's gonna be okay, right? This whole this whole thing that we're going through right now, while granted it is pretty severe and it is very interesting to be a part of during this time in Magic's history, it is just another dip in the the wave that is Magic the Gathering. There will come a year where nobody complains about magic. Or at least the majority of people won't complain about magic. And if that ever happens, right, this is going to sound silly, right? We, we spent a whole year complaining about Magic the Gathering. Instead of finding a way for us to personally enjoy Magic the Gathering, whether that be through spell table, through just general discussion of podcasts, through you know, playing, going to play at an LGS, going to hang out at a friend's house and open up a box of Jumpstart and teach people how to play magic. There are ways for people to enjoy magic. And it doesn't just have to be at an LGS level, okay? And it's, obviously, that's hard for LGSs. And I would hope that LGSs plan to adapt in that regard. Because in LGS, while they do have play space, a lot of their money is not made in play space. A lot of their money is not made on tournaments and prize support and all that stuff. From what I know, a lot of their money is made on singles and selling of product, right? Selling, you know, sleeves, selling deck boxes, selling singles, selling snacks, selling sealed products sometimes. Maybe people want to go buy a board game and they'll go do board game stuff. I just want people to enjoy the game. I think overall is what I'm trying to get at here. And I think that there comes a time where we all have to kind of self-reflect and realize what we're doing is complaining instead of making a solution, right? You always get the, you know, why are you complaining about something instead of fixing it? And most people, all of us, even though we personally don't have a, a say in the, you know, the corporate tower of Wizards of the Coast or Hasbro, we do make a difference. You can go and stop buying current Magic product, keep the product that you have at home, make a cube, right? You can, if you have sealed boxes in your, you know, in your closet or in a warehouse somewhere, you can open up one of them, bring a bunch of your friends over to your house and play a draft. You can start collecting some of the older stuff, the older singles. Those are all sold by LGSs and other individual sellers online in the, you know, in TCG Player, eBay, Card Kingdom. Pe people all over are selling things. And that's where the profit goes to for them. So everybody thinks that every dollar spent on Magic is some end of the world concept, right? You just got to know where to look. And personally, giving your money to Amazon to buy cheap boxes, to then go talk about, you know, oh, well, you're not supporting an LGS or, you know, you're not doing any of this stuff. You're just buying boxes because they're cheap and you're supporting the greed that is Wizards of the Coast or that is Hasbro. Listen, this is how people make money. OK, uh, I believe Rudy has even said it a couple of times in that you don't you don't bring your emotions in when you're investing. So it doesn't matter whether or not you buy it, which I suggest people buy it at whatever price that is comfortable to them. And if they're going to buy a box at one hundred and fifty dollars, as opposed to when it was, you know, two hundred and fifty dollars. I say go for it. If that's a comfortable price for you and you feel like that's something that you want to get, I say go for it because it's important to not overspend on something. If you feel like it's something that you don't need, don't buy it. You know, just buy the singles you want from the set and you're good. But there are people out there who will buy from Amazon. We have the same situation that went on with the Magic 30th Anniversary Edition, right? 
Everybody was, oh, we're not going to buy any. We're not going to buy any. We're not we're not doing that. But then you had the people who were going to buy as investments purchase this product and they did. And it sold out. And that was. This is going to be the same case for Amazon. You're going to think that by you not spending any of your money, that you're making a difference. And if that's how you truly feel, you then that's good, right? You're making that difference. If you're not choosing to, you know, spend your money on Amazon and you'd only rather spend it at an LGS, that's fine. But just know that somebody out there is going to be buying on Amazon. Someone. It's probably going to be me. It's probably going to be several people who don't have a lot of money to their name. It's probably going to be parents who are buying kids stuff. You know, maybe an LGS is even looking for a new wave of product to bring to their store. And they can get a deal on Amazon better than they can their distributor. This is, again, another thing. I, I don't know how this derailed into something like we're talking about LGSs, but <laughs> overall, the sense of the gathering is not honed specifically to an LGS. So when you say that if you're not supporting your LGS, that you're not, then you're not, you know, enjoying the gathering of magic. You're going to have to rethink that because that is not the case. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Obviously, this is a very hot take. Um, but after the last video I made about Amazon and all that stuff and about the gathering, um, you know, a lot of people had the same agreement, right? We are all one community. And I am talking to you all over the Internet, right? This is a video you were watching, and it is posted on the internet for everybody to see <laughs> so it's not we're not in the same realm as when we were in you know 1995 when the only way you were going to play magic the gathering was in the on the cul-de-sac you know what i mean let me know what you guys think about this whole thing let me know what your feelings are about this situation because i know a lot of people seem hurt but i feel like a lot of people's rage are being misdirected. I feel like the rage and the anger that is put towards Wizards of the Coast is not being turned into a proper solution. It's instead just unbridled rage towards a company that is just a company. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. While you're down there, make sure to like the video. If you want to like it, I'm assuming this is probably going to get a decent amount of dislikes too, but maybe I'm wrong. I've been wrong before. But if you did like this video, make sure to also subscribe to the channel if you have not already. I've got plenty more of this content and, uh, you know, I've got lots of it lined up for you all. So hopefully it is as entertaining for you as it is for me. Also, let me know what you think about the standing thing. I'm not sure how the sound's going to work on this. I may even delete this video entirely if I find out that the sound is bad. But let me know what you guys think about standing. And uh, yeah, you can also check our Patreon link in the description down below. That's also there. Uh, there's also the channel membership that you can find as well down at the bottom of the video. So if that's something you want to check out and support the channel in a more monetary sense, it's certainly fantastic and it means a lot to me, but it is not necessary. So thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you all very soon. Nerd out.